And tonight, the split between the royal family and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex seems wider than the ocean that separates them. In Oprah Winfrey's exclusive interview, Prince Harry's wife, Meghan, accuses the palace of spreading lies about them. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer reports tonight from London. There is no. It's pretty clear Britain's royal family isn't going to like Sunday's interview with Oprah. How do you feel about the palace hearing you speak your truth today? I don't know how they could expect that after all of this time, we would still just be silent if there is an active role that the firm is playing in perpetuating falsehoods about us. The firm is a nickname for the royal family, and their gloves are off. You could probably only describe that relationship now between the two sides as all-out war. On Tuesday, the Times of London reported allegations that after Meghan Markle married Prince Harry, she bullied household staff and forced two aides to quit. The palace, instead of ignoring the story as if it were gossip, gave it extra weight. We're clearly very concerned, it said in a statement, adding its HR team would investigate. Harry and Meghan call the bullying allegations a smear campaign. It certainly marks another low in their relationship with the British media. We all know what the British press can be like, and it was destroying my mental health. I was really? like, this is toxic. Yeah. So I did what any husband and what any father would do, is like, I need to get my family out of here. When Meghan and Harry moved to the United States, they tried to leave a little window open so that they could return here to the royal fold if things didn't work out. But it now seems after Sunday's interview with Oprah, there will be no going back. Nora? Elizabeth Palmer, thank you. And Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a primetime special, airs Sunday night at 8, 7 central, right here on CBS.